Hi everyone, welcome to Books Mandala's YouTube channel. In this channel, we talk about everything and anything related to books. In today's video, I have a series that is very long, but not as long as the Wheel of Time series. And this series is really interesting. It is really good fantasy and especially a really good fantasy for beginners. And that is the Thorn of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. So this series altogether has eight books, including two novellas. Firstly, I'm going to talk about the reading order of this series because it can get really confusing, especially if you haven't heard of this series ever. So this reading order is what I would think is the personal best reading order. This does not have to be the reading order that the publishers suggest or somebody else does. Don't come for me if you do not like this reading order. I personally enjoyed reading Thorn of Glass in this reading order. And I think that it's better to read this series in the reading order that I will be mentioning rather than chronological order. I really, really don't suggest going into this series and reading it in chronological order. It will ruin the world building and the character development and the emotional touch to the story. So there's that. If you want to start in a chronological way because you like following the timeline from the very start, you could start with the Assassin's Blade, but I personally do not recommend that at all. So it's better if you start with the book Thorn of Glass. This book will give you an insight to the world building and I think it is a crucial first book. This book will add a touch about the character that we will be following in this entire series. So after you finish Thorn of Glass, you would want to read Crown of Midnight, which is the second book. And personally, these two books aren't really the best book of the series. These are the weaker ones and the thinner ones. They're thin for a reason. After finishing Crown of Midnight, you have the option to either read the Assassin's Blade or the third book, Heir of Midnight. So I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but Assassin's Blade is a novella. You don't necessarily have to read it, but this novella, I think, is very, very crucial to the story. So this book is sad and it will give you trust issues and who does not like books like that? After finishing Crown of Midnight, you have the option to either read The Assassin's Blade or Air of Fire. You can do either. I personally went into the series starting Air of Fire before I started The Assassin's Blade and it worked pretty fine for me. I thoroughly enjoyed the series, but the important thing is you would not want to start Queen of Shadows before you read The Assassin's Blade. <clears throat> what I mean is if you start Queen of Shadows before reading The Assassin's Blade, you will miss out on some storylines and it will not make sense. There will be characters that are reintroduced, like characters that were introduced in this book first and now are being reintroduced in Queen of Shadows. So I really, 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 I cannot emphasize on how many reallys <laughs> that you should, ha you should have to have read The Assassin's Blade before starting Queen of Shadows. After finishing Queen of Shadows, this chunky book, you would want to pick up another chunky book. So The Empire of Storms and Tower of Dawn can be read together. You can read both of these books simultaneously because this book follows our main character, Selena Sardothian, but The Tower of Dawn follows Kale Westfall. He is one of the side characters, but Tower of Dawn is his book. We follow him through his journey. I cannot say where. But if you do not like reading two books at once, you could read The Empire of Storms first and then only read Tower of Dawn because you wouldn't want to read Kale's book before you read Selena's book. If you've read the series, you know why I'm struggling to say Selena's name. You know exactly why I'm struggling to say her name. But it's spoiler, so I cannot tell you why 
finally, lastly, we have the chunkiest of them all. Kingdom of Ash, this book is sad. It is sad and it gets sadder. Empire of Storms is pretty sad too, but this book just takes it on a next level. It has, um, this book has about a thousand pages. So it is chunky and this book will leave you so empty because you will be because you will have finished an entire series you would have finished following an entire set of characters and it will leave you lonely and that's it for the reading order now i would want to give a brief brief synopsis of uh, about thorn of glass so thorn of glass follows an assassin a notorious assassin named selena sardothian selena has been serving in the salt mines of endovia for a while now and the crown prince dorian haviliard aka my favorite character dorian haviliard and his captain captain westfall they come to retrieve selena and they're like you need to participate in this competition and if you win you will have freedom but if you don't you will die and selena needs to take part in this competition and slowly people of this competition start dying in a mysterious way and Selena needs to figure out what is killing them all. Can Selena figure out who is the killer before she herself becomes the victim? These two books do not have a lot of magic in it, but the third book, Air of Fire, is so different from the first two books. It is a really different turn to the whole story. Some new characters are introduced in this book, and Minan Blackbeak is introduced in this book. And Minon Blackbeak is a witch and she is my favorite character ever. She is literally the best character ever in this entire series. This book and the books following this has magic, a lot of them, but the books before this do not have a lot of magic. They have more of assassin and betrayal and more assassins and thieves and and the palace and dorian who does not like dorian everyone in this world should like dorian if you do not like dorian i will take it as a personal attack same goes for minon lastly you might be like what is the main genre of this series so the genre of this series is fantasy romance it has a lot of romance but it does also have fantasy and it is young adult but but the last two books are not young adult they have mature content this leans more towards new adult so the books before the last two books are young adult they are pretty young adult they are like 13 14 plus but these two books do have mature content so so go into it expecting mature content I think that is it for the non-spoilery and the reading order of Thorn of Glass series. It is a really interesting series. Also, if you do not like the first two books, please, please be patient. Read the third book at least, at least read the third book. Because Minon is introduced in this book and who does not like Minon?